Hello, fans. I'm Brad Nessler alongside my colleague, Dick Vitale. We're here to call tonight's matchup between the Prairie View A&M Panthers and the Wright State Raiders. Number 21 is a player who can handle playing under any pressure situation. He's a star player that we'll keep our eyes on tonight. He's got amazing handles. Combine that with a great first step, and that's why you'll often see defenders left standing in his wake. The Raiders will see that their offense goes through him tonight, Dick. The Raiders are looking to make this one a blowout early. What are the keys for tonight, Dick? Yeah, on a night like this, the keys are pretty simple, Brad. First, play at your own tempo. Don't get into a run-and-gun game, baby. Secondly, reward your big men for running the court. Get them some easy buckets in transition. And lastly, don't get away from what got you here on defense. Don't try and do too much defensively. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Goes up for two. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. On the dribble, gives it up. He goes with a jump hook. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. They work it around the perimeter. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. With Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Clinton handles the feed. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Here we go on the break. For two. Up. Easy one. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Pressure that basketball. Terry comes up with it. Abrams handles the pass. Up and inside. From the baseline, off the rim and no good. Dickie's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Harvey receives the ball, thinks about the shot, swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. They work the perimeter. The center receives the pass. And he'll kick it back outside. They look to get it to the inside. There's the trap. Puts it up. Way off target. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. And he missed. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the players and coaches seem really confused around the bench area right now. Again, the focus seems to be getting their number one guy going. They haven't been able to do anything without him tonight. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Dickie's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Ferris picks up the foul. First team foul. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. A 
I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. It's crazy in here, Brad. Terry fakes the shot. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Dick, are they being taken out of their game offensively? Hey, they're taking themselves out of the game by rushing bad shots and not executing on offense. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Takes the pass in the paint. Jumps in. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Hey, Brown, a stop here will definitely raise the decimal level. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable. It counts, and the senior leader will go to the free throw line. Don't deny him on that play, Brad. That's huge. So he'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created the foul opportunity. Shot clock is dead. Goes up for two. And off the mark. Trying to go inside. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. He drains the bucket. At the half, the Raiders are down by eight. taken away a lot in that first half, partner. Not so much taken away, but give it away. If you can't take care of the rock, you're not going to win many games. Our focus player update, Dick Vitales, going into the second half. What does he need to do, you think? I think they're going to set some screens for him, a little double screens. He's a great shooter, but he's not getting the opportunity. I think his teammates have to screen for him. That was like a NASCAR wreck. Gets the rejection. Great play to take that to the basket. Both teams looking to get things going here. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Artez just doesn't beat him. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. The ball goes out of play. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I tell you, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? From right in the circle, he has taken his team completely out of this game. These young guys have to remember to let the game come to you. Don't force the action. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. That was a high post screen. Goes to the lane. Off the rim and no good. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. He shoots from the top of the circle, misses from downtown. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He goes to the line for the first time. 
it to the nylon, NBN. Prairie View a and are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. And they come with a double team to stop it. He lets it go way off target. The Panthers have a number of seniors in their lineup. That factor alone will definitely help their cause. Dumps it in for the bucket. He's typically a good shooter. Yeah, but not tonight. He's got to accept that. They'll work it around the arc. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Trying to feed inside. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. Working it around the perimeter. Look at that spacing. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. On the outside. Moving it around the perimeter. Ten on the shot clock. Steals the pass. We might see a little different look this time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. Well, the lead is 10, Dick. Are you starting to hear the fat lady? Well, Brad, she could be warming up right now. He shoots from the top of the circle. He's taking his team out of the game plan with these shots, Dick. Yeah, and even if he were hitting them, Brad, they're still bad shots. Well, Dick, it looks like they're going to spend a little bit of time fouling right here. They have to foul in order to stop the clock, Brad. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Nobody likes this part of the game when the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. And the clock stopped with a foul. And yet another foul. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Good. the second trying to feed the low block a lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside he fires from long range they're trying to build an entire neighborhood with all those bricks Brad they need some buckets and they need them in a hurry dump it inside looking for a good shot Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. They work the perimeter. Now they work it around the perimeter. Ten on the shot clock. Prairie View a and is now in the bonus. He's mocking the crowd. Now that's thrown salt on the wound. The fans are definitely going to be annoyed with him. Oh, oh Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. I like it when the team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and often. 
second one good they have found their stroke at the stripe tonight dick this has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch and has it rejected defense did a great job with that blocked shot and the ball goes out of play Looks at the three. He gets the bucket. Wow, the screener is back to school on that pick. Well, the game's over now. It's easy to look back at your focus player and say that you maybe picked the wrong focus player. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. It's so essential for the star player to really respond. He didn't respond at all in a positive way, and it affected his teammates as well. Wright State loses in a well-fought match. This is going to be hard to swallow since they were the favorites coming into this game. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.